California, but the lights are shining bright here at the spectacular SoFi Stadium in Metropolitan Los Angeles. Straight ahead, we've got a pretty good one on tap here as it'll be the New Orleans Saints taking on the LA Chargers. about set for football Blake Groupie is ready to get us started and we are underway here in Los Angeles and he'll be brought down at the 28 yard line so the decision to bring it out of the end zone gets him three more so here's the Charger offense making their way out they'll be led out by a fifth round pick in the 2019 draft out of North Dakota State it's Easton Stick. We're seeing it more and more in this league, how teams love to have athletes back there taking the snaps, guys who can throw it and move around and get yards with their legs if needed. He's one of the best examples that we see out there right now. He can throw for hundreds of yards one week and then run for 100 plus the next. He adds an extra dimension that really confounds defenses when he puts it all together. Here's Stick on first and ten. On the screen, this is Eckler. Oh, look at the juke. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Umpire threw the flag, usually always indicates holding, and that's what we've got. And you know, depending on their positioning, where you are on the field, the umpires get different responsibilities, but always, always making sure no one's holding. So following the hold, they're in a bit of a hole here with a first and 20. Stick back to pass. That's complete to Austin Eckler, the running back. So the completion results there in nine yards at its second down. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. Here's the first carry for Austin Eckler. So from second and long, now we go to third and very manageable. Yeah, they love that phrase, don't they? Because as an offensive coordinator, you can keep people a little bit off balance in guessing because you don't have to throw it. You can come back with a strong run game if you want to. And if you're in four down territory, that really opens things up for you. An early test, two plays in, this is third and two. Here's Stick looking to throw. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have the Chargers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. 
but you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well, and that's what they just did on that play. First and ten, stick. It's taken in by Quentin Johnston. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. That was a nicely run slant route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route, and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps, and cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and give the quarterback a really nice target. And they will only muster a yard here to the 38. Let's just make this one succinct. Nice job there, all 11 guys on defense, diagnosing the jet sweep and putting it down. 38-yard line, second and nine. Stick from the gun. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Johnston. That'll go for a gain of seven. And it makes it third down and two yards to go. Well, safe to say the passing game has found a rhythm. He's now 4-4, four four, but might need to be 5-5 five of five to keep this drive going here as they face a third down. And maybe perhaps you show a running play, right? Maybe a little play action here to go ahead and let him throw the ball downfield. I wouldn't get away from him flinging it because 4-4 four for four already? I think he's got a good chance of picking this one up here on third down. And Eckler will not get there. Great defense at the point of attack. Going to stop him short of the first down. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. And on their first drive, the offense staying out there. They're going to go for it on fourth. They'll run for it with Eckler. And I'm not sure he got there. Did they stop him? They did. He needed a yard. He didn't get anything. And this defense holds firm here on the opening drive of the night. And that could be a major momentum swing here early. Because the defense stopped them. How great is that? They go for it on the first drive of the game. They're the ones trying to establish something, trying to assert a little dominance. And guess what? You turn it back on them and give the ball to your own offense. I agree with you. It could change momentum in a big way. going to lead the Saints up here first and 10 right at the 30. They'll try and start this drive in the air. That'll be taken in by Shahid. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. But it appears that they read man defense and went to the out route. And what you have to do on that one is the receiver's got to make sure he works a defender towards the middle of the field to give himself space to cut to the outside and have that ball delivered with good timing. And they got it done. The first carry now. This is Alvin Kamara. And not much there at all. Maybe a yard up to the 43. No doubt about it, a really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there of holding the point of attack and not giving ground. Kamara gets it again on second down. And a good burst there, gets him seven up to midfield. Okay, didn't break that one all the way, but you got to know that he feels like he's right on the verge, and that's probably exactly what he's telling them in the huddle right now.
Third down and one. Here's Kamara trying to run for it. And he's got the first down before being taken down at the 46. A gain of four that time as the drive continues. Brandon, what were they thinking on defense there? That looked like they were playing for the pass. That was third and short. Yeah, it was an easy pickup because they handed it to him. That was way too easy. Just looked like absolute confusion defensively. Not sure why they were in that set. Yeah, I'd say you ought to have a few men in the box there. throw with Carr. He stiff arms him. There's Chris Olave. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. 10 yards, good for his Saints first down. Nothing flashy there, the slant to the slot. Oh, and the frustration for the defensive guys, because it's a quick play. And you know it's going to be a bang-bang play in terms of the throw and the catch. And then he's able to absorb the contact and complete it. Carr now on first down. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Nice progress down the field was halted by that incompletion. They could try for some safe yards here to get things moving again or keep throwing it and pushing it downfield to try and pick up bigger yardage. Now Carr, after the incomplete pass, brings him up second and ten. They'll drop the throw. He finds his man, Johnson. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. Let's not quibble about the gain there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives a much better opportunity to convert on third down. This will be play number eight here on the drive. It's third and a yard. From the gun, it's a run for Kamara. And he's able to get the first here as he's taken down at the 25. Had a chance to maybe limit them to three if they could have gotten that stop there, but a new set of downs. And with a new set of downs, you got to take the mentality of the whole thing. Right now, everyone's looking at the offense and saying they've got the advantage. The best defenses just say, okay, new set of downs gives us another chance to make a play ourselves and maybe change things up. Staying on the ground on first with Kamara. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. Pretty effective run there. And now they can start to smell that end zone. Pound the rock. Make sure you use your old line to set the tone of dominance and physicality. And pound the rock. Just need a yard here. Second and one. Alave over the middle. And the Saints are going to have a first and goal as the tackle is made at about the five. Well, no question, this is exactly how they wanted to start this football game. And nice pass there. And now they're set up beautifully, Charles, to finish this off with a touchdown. Yeah, but they've still got to finish it off, partner. And that means they've got to execute at this stage of the field. So we've seen many teams march it right to the goal line and not cash in. They've got something dialed up here that puts it in the end zone. And not a whole lot there. He does get a couple, taking it from the five down to the three. Yeah, so they get that one, Charles, on the right tackle. The oftentimes at that spot, you're trying to work against a defender, trying to set the edge in the running game, and you're trying to drive around and get your body twisted so that he can't get there. Sometimes your hands get too involved. A terrible spot for a holding call as he'll try again, but now from further back on first and goal. Now Carr. On the throw, led him too much that time. It's incomplete. Chances are good. He's going to be a very busy guy. Two catches already in this opening drive, and they were looking his way for a third. I think they put this defense on notice that that could be a really, really frequent combination. So an incomplete pass a moment ago, and that leads to second and goal. 
Back to the ground. It's Kamara. And he'll be taken down here at about the 11. Only a couple yards there, and that's going to set up a long third and goal. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. This has been a long drive. you got to figure a field goal would be a letdown. Can they convert now on third and goal? Throwing now is Carr. Finding Johnson on the out route. That's complete. A four-yard pickup, not enough. Fourth down. Excellent job there defensively. Gave up the underneath to the tight end on third down, and they made sure that they did their job. Got him on the ground and prevented him picking up a first down. So Carr departs and on is Blake Groupie for the Saints field goal. From the right hash here, should be an easy one. And this one is right through. And the Saints are going to take a 3 nothing lead. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks, you tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal, you'll take. Punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. So after the field goal, back out is Groupie to send this one away. And they will wrangle him down a couple yards shy of the 30. The Chargers get set to go here for their second drive. They're coming off a fourth down gamble that last drive that backfired CD, but really not as badly as it could. Their defense held up and only gave up three points. And what they want to do is play off the momentum the defense gave them. Only giving up the three points in that situation after they failed on fourth down. Now they want to make it pay off. They want to pay homage to the defense and have their own drive pay off in points for themselves. Stick looking to throw on first and 10. And that one incomplete, but now a penalty flag coming in late. That might be P.I. So pass interference, the call is so tough as a defender, I'd imagine, to time that up perfectly. It certainly is difficult to get it exactly right because sometimes you're looking at getting there fractions of seconds too early. That one looked a little more obvious. Always a tough penalty to officiate. Just ask the basketball refs when they have to officiate block and charge. Now stick. Now a deep one for Johnston. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Zone coverage there, and they were playing deep. That makes it obviously a little bit harder to run by guys. And that time, it was not much of a window to get the ball in there, and it winds up incomplete. Here's second and 10. Out of the gun, Eckler running it. And he'll get up near the 45. They'll spot it at the 44. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. On any explosive run, you can almost feel the ground shaking, and that's from the offensive linemen creating space for their runners. I had an old coach tell me before, they always told his runners, run around the offensive line in pregame. Get used to the ground shaking so you don't trip and fall when it happens in a game. They'll try to pick up the first with Eckler, and he'll be brought down right at the 45-yard line. By the skin of their teeth, they are able to convert on third and inches. I always appreciate runners who understand situations. That was just third and inches. No reason to dance around in the backfield and try and break off a bigger play. Just go pick up the first down, and that's exactly what he did. Thank you. 
Stick looks to throw. Throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. Had an open man that time and ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely. Just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. Now a second and ten. Up the middle with Eckler. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, and now third and 12. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. They need 12 here. It's third down. Looking to throw. On the out route, he finds Johnston. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. It'll be a gain of five. And that's going to make it fourth down. People worry about throwing the out route because often it can get jumped. And that can turn into an either an incompletion or an interception. But not on that one. Everything came together. And he catches it and goes over the sideline. On is the punter Scott here as he gets this one away. And a fair catch called for and made at the 12-yard line. It'll wind up just a 35-yard punt, no return. And the Saints will take over with a first and 10 deep in their own territory. New Orleans Saints, they get ready to set up shop for their second drive. They've got a 3-0 lead and the football as they start first and 10. Here's Carr. And his throw here is incomplete. So many things have to go right for any passing play to work out. Quarterback has to understand the defense, deliver an accurate ball. Receiver has to concentrate and bring it in. Somewhere along the assembly line, something was off with that one. Now Carr, after the incomplete pass, brings him up second and ten. He'll look to throw. He completes it to Alave. And he'll take this across the 25 before going out of bounds. 14 yards is the pickup. First down, New Orleans. But that's what you're looking for when you're wanting to throw the ball downfield. You want one of those guys who can play out on the perimeter, can play out wide, who can not only get open, but when they're covered, can uncover themselves downfield and create catches. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far. It's second down. Second and ten. To throw his car. Drops this off to Kamara out of the backfield. And he gets this up just shy of the 30 to the 29 before he's out of bounds. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. Throwing his car on third down. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he is going to have a Saints first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. I know sometimes we can get fooled when we watch him make catches as we just saw him do there because he really looks like a wide receiver the way he goes about his business. Yeah, 230, 240 range. Yeah, not, not super huge. Maybe not counted on to be that inline point of attack blocker that we used to have in the good old days. But you can flex him out. You can run wide receiver routes with him. You can make him a primary target. And that's how he'll shred a defense. The Saints with a football here to begin quarter number two. As they've got it with a first and two.
Kamara up the middle. And he's going to bowl his way forward to the 48. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. That's a strong pickup right there on first down, and as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. From the 48-yard line, here's second down and three. To throw, it's Carr. The pass caught by Alave. And he is brought down, but not before reaching the 30. 22 yards there, a first down. But one of the ways that quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. They had to settle for three last drive, hoping this second go around ends in six. In good position, first and ten. A quick throw there is incomplete. Well, a momentary speed bump there with that throw, partner. The defense had other ideas, and they're trying to mount a small stand before this drive reaches the end zone. Now Carr, after the incomplete pass, brings him up second and ten. Back to throw. There's a short one to the tight end, Johnson. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. The completion was given up, and that's why you play zone defense, that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. The offense on third down tonight, they've been good. Three for four thus far. This will be third and six. He's got his target. That's complete. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. Over 70 yards receiving now for him in this first half alone as he's got a first down on that last catch. That's the third time on this drive that these two have connected with each other. They've got a real rapport going, and right now it's paying off with big chunks of yardage as shown by that last play. Now a first and 10 at the 11. Now, Carr again. Now he's got it. Touchdown, Saints. Juwan Johnson, an 11-yard touchdown. And the Saints had six to their lead. For good reason, quarterbacks want to get the ball to the perimeter to their wide receivers for big plays. But in this situation, it felt like, based on coverage, he knew that he wanted his tight end to have the football, and for good reason. Blake Groupie now for the extra point. It's up and good, and that'll increase their lead to 10 zip. A pretty long drive that time, 11 plays all told, and it all culminates in a Saints touchdown. After the touchdown, here's Groupie to kick this one away. From his end zone, here's Darius Davis. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. L.A. readies for its next possession. Nothing for him yet from an offensive standpoint. Down 10 zip as they come up first and 10.
Here's Eckler to begin the drive. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. They'll throw on second down is Stick. A little short pass. This is Everett. And they're able to get this one across the 35. His first catch of the game, good for 11 and a first down. And this may be the one to build on right here. It's the second quarter. They've got nothing on the scoreboard as of yet. They need to put something together, and this is a good start. As they get the completion there for good yardage and a first down. Running on first down, Eckler. And he'll grab a gain of five out of this up to the 41-yard line. Oh, that was a thing of beauty right there. Look at how quick those blockers fired off the line once the ball was snapped. That was an O-line on a mission, all in sync, and the defense is lucky that play only picked up five yards. From the 41, here's second down and five. Once more, here's Eckler. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. Six yards the pick up, and that's a first down. But, partner, if the defense isn't going to adjust, and they keep giving them those five, six, seven-yard runs over and over, they're likely to run it the whole way to the end zone. They'll be more than happy to take the yardage available and save some of their other plays in the playbook for another time. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Eckler now between the tackles. And he works his way forward to pick up four yards there, second down. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. Second down and six now. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. He dumps it to Eckler underneath. And he'll go down shy of 40 at the 41. Seven yards there and a first down. And at his size, he's a smaller back. You can get him to football. He can kind of get lost, make someone miss. It's good for him. Yeah, it's great for him. I like what you said there. Sometimes he gets lost in the traffic a little bit. But get him out in the open field into some space. That plays to his strengths the best and keeps him out of it where all the big boys are, you know, make him make someone miss in the open field. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. That's a really alert defense there because they saw the heavy look come in from the offense, countered it with extra linebackers who brought a little bit of speed and heft and able to really make a big-time play for their defense. Looking at a second and 11 now after the loss. He'll look to throw. He finds his target, Allen. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's made at the Saints 24-yard line. The Chargers passing game rolling a bit here. They've got another first. And this offense has been a little slow to get going, but some signs of life here in this second quarter. They're moving it pretty good. And that helps the cause as well. Good yardage and another first down. On the give, this is Eckler. And he'll maneuver his way forward for about four. Second and six. Well, if you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, the guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. The ball resting on the 20. Here's second and six. It's Eckler again. Two yards on the carry there, and it's going to lead him to third down. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. 
They'll come up facing third and five. He'll drop to throw. Shrugs the tackle. Nice. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. A strong eight yards will keep this drive rolling. We have so many different terms for third down, third and short, third and long, third and manageable. How about third and medium? Because that's what this one was. The defense looked like they had him hemmed in, but he gets away, evades the rush, and picks up just enough for the first down. Now a first and 10 at the 11. A handoff, it's Eckler. And able to get him inside the five here, just inside the five to about the four. 51 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. And he's maybe going to get this back to the four, but that's about all. Nothing doing there as the 13th play of the drive proves to be unlucky. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. The Chargers on third down. They've converted three out of five thus far. Here it's third and three. And they're going to get to him. A sack. Sack back at the nine-yard line. Alante Taylor. He's the culprit. Causes a loss of five, and it brings up fourth down. Well, how about that? The defense's first sack. It doesn't come from one of the usual suspects up front. It comes from the secondary. Yeah, I think they caught the quarterback off guard a little bit because he wasn't able to account for the possibility of that blitz and change the blocking assignments. He comes through and puts him on the ground. Cameron Dicker on now to try the field goal. This is a 26-yard attempt. And his kick here is good. And they get themselves on the board here. It's 10 to 3. So that kick gives them their first points of the game, CD. And it comes on the third drive, but hopefully for them that's a spark that gets that offense going. Yeah, and I would say if you're the offensive play caller, as you look at your sheet, you're trying to find that part on there that unlocks bigger points. They struggled with a few drives so far. Finally got three out of it. How do you find the end zone? That's what he's searching for now. Here's Dicker now as he'll send this one away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And he takes this near the 25. Just a little pass there. Call it the 26. Out onto the field comes New Orleans. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out looking to repeat that in Charles' defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. They start the drive on the ground. Kamara. He'll work his way up the middle for a gain of about four. Second down. Nice chunk of yards on first down. It really opens up your options for what you want to do on second. You go right back to him and hope he explodes or sucker the defense in before throwing over the top. Second and six, just inside the 30. Shotgun now for Carr. He'll find Shahid out to the right. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. 17 there and a New Orleans first down. Well, he's a diminutive receiver, Charles. Not a ton of size, but still able to bring that in against double coverage. I think that's a great job by him 
of understanding angles because you mentioned his size. He's not going to go over the top of someone or body someone out of the way. He's got to make sure he creates enough space for himself by getting people into the wrong spot on defense, moving them with his body, and then showing his numbers to the quarterback to be open. On play action, now Carr. There's a short one to the tight end, Johnson. No gain on the play, and that'll make it second down. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. Now Carr. Again, it's Johnson. And he goes out of bounds. It looks like right at the 50. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. Our score, 10-3 to three with two minutes remaining in quarter number two. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. From midfield, here's Carr. That is caught. And he's able to get this one down to the 40-yard line. He's got his first catch here before halftime, and it goes for a first down. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. Again, they'll throw with Carr. Got a man, it's caught inside the 10. And they are able to stop him, but he does take it all the way to the two. A big pickup of 38. Running their plays over and over during the week can often get robotic for an offense, but on game day, they can often flow smoothly, as that one just did. Williams is in. Touchdown, New Orleans. You think back to 2022 with Detroit, Jamal Williams just unstoppable down near the goal line. 17 rushing touchdowns, 13 of those were from two yards or less. He's just an absolute battering ram down in this part of the field, and he finishes off another drive in the end zone. Here's Groupie for the PAT. It's up and good, and that makes it 17-3. So the drive winds up going 75 yards in seven plays. And it was Jamal Williams who ended things with a touchdown run. After the touchdown, here's Groupie to kick this one away. Taken at the goal line. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. Austin Eckler and the Charger offense reclaim center stage. And I'm wondering if maybe they don't go away from him on this drive a little bit. He's, he's been great, but they haven't scored a lot of points. I think they still have to show him as a threat, make sure he touches it a few times. But as you pointed out, 
use him as a decoy a little bit and get the ball in the hands of some other people in order to put more points on the board. But he's done a really nice job of establishing them with his running. Yeah, he's established himself well. Now can they put more points up? Here's Stick on first and 10. And that's into the hands of Eckler. The Chargers going to signal for the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a tick under a minute to go before half. They still need about the length of the football here, maybe a little less as they come up on second and inches. Stick back to pass. He's got Allen. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. Now the Chargers will use the second of their timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Here's Stick looking to throw. He'll get this to Eckler, and he's brought down. The Chargers passing game rolling a bit here. They've got another first. Well, these guys have definitely been outplayed in the first half, but I like their countenance. I like the way that they haven't panicked out there, the way they're carrying themselves. They're starting to move the ball, and what you have to do, maintain your poise and start to put together some drives. First and 10, Stick. Over the middle, and it's caught. Keenan Allen. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. A well-executed 22-yard gain. Chargers going to use their third and final timeout as they stop it with 16 seconds to go in half number one. Cameron Dicker on now to try the field goal. From the left hash, it's a 36-yard attempt. And his kick is good. And a second field goal here gets him back with an 11 now. It's 17 to 6. So the three points here, they're still down, but they put somewhat of a dent into that lead going into the break. Anything helps when you're trying to chip away at a lead, but they do know that they're going to need a little bit better effort in the second half. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. Getting set for their next drive, the New Orleans offense. And with 10 seconds left, not really enough time to put something together. They'll indeed try to run it out as they start on the ground. And defensively, they're just looking to keep him contained as they're able to get him down. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. So we have reached halftime here in an 11-point contest. As we send you cross country to Orlando, Jonathan Coachman is there and has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Back to you guys in a bit. But first, we welcome everyone to our EA Sports Halftime Report. This game's had a little bit of everything thus far and certainly plenty to look forward to as the teams are right back out there for the second half. So we'll get right back out there as well as we'll turn it back over to Brandon Godden. All right, Coach, we welcome everyone back for quarter number three.
Set now to go for the third quarter. The Saints have the lead and set to receive the kick. And no fireworks to start the half. This will be a touchback. Out come the Saints now. They'll go on offense first here to begin the third quarter. And Charles, they've got the lead. Put your coaching hat on here now. What's the game plan for the second half? I think getting the running game going a little bit more because I thought in the first half, they didn't get it moving the way that they would like. They had success throwing it. But I think these first couple of drives, they'll want to get those running backs going and give them more opportunities. And I will guarantee you that those guys were lobbying for them in the locker room at halftime. They'll bring a receiver in motion right. And they'll fake the jet sweep there and instead hand to Kamara. And he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. Now that's the way you want to start a drive. Talk about a tone setter as well as a playbook opener. Now if you want to take a big shot over the top, you're all positioned to do so. Here's a second and two now from the 33. Again, it's Kamara. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. Two yards, good enough for a first. Not too many more ideal situations at second and two in order to try and pick up a first down. They ran it and picked it up. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Car going to throw. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. Now Carr, after the incomplete pass, brings him up second and 10. They'll look to throw. That's complete to his running back, Kamara. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. The defense was ready for the back to leak out and even had a second player waiting to double him up. If you're going to commit to doubling the back, you better prevent a completion. But give him credit. Extra determination, extra effort. Turn it into a successful play. Third and two. Here's Kamara trying to run for it. And some nifty running here as he'll take this across midfield and down to the 47. 61 yards rushing on 12 carries for him now. They've got the lead early here in the third quarter and runs like that are how they established that lead in the first half. I love the fact that you're using the word lead because they are leading from the front, pounding on the defense right now with the running game and truly establishing themselves here in the second half. So after the run by Kamara, now another first and 10. Here's Carr to throw. Completes it to Perry. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try and put the hammer down and finish this one off. Now a first down carry, it's Kamara. It's a six yard gain on the ground and that'll make it second and four. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive, because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense getting a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. Ball on the 27. Here's a second down and four. Working from the gun, it's Carr. Into the hands of Perry, complete. What a methodical drive this is turning out to be. That time, nine yards, and the sticks move again. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down. Executed it to perfection. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Coming left is Kamara. And he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. 
No gain on the play there. Second down. If this defense wants to stay in this ball game, they've got to start ending some drives. That helps. And they have to look ahead at what they expect the offense to do. And right now with that lead, that's run the football. So you don't just stack the line of scrimmage. You have to get upfield and try and make some plays in their backfield. Carr down inside the 10. And the Saints are going to be set up with a first and goal coming up as they get him down at the six-yard line. And I'll tell you what, this offense is playing a little bit of keep away right now. They've come out here in the third quarter, possessed the ball for quite a while, and they keep on converting. Nice pitch and catch there to set up the first and goal. And they've got three tight ends here on first and goal to add some extra mass. Try to pound it in, Kamara. And he gets halfway there from the six to the three on a gain of three. And now defensively, you have to look at this like the game's on the line. It's just the third quarter, but another touchdown given up here could really spell an end to their chances. So they need to toughen up and keep them out of the end zone. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. Card out of throw. Feeling the pressure here and taken down. A sack back at the seven. Well-timed effort there by Derwin James. A sack from his safety position. When you're this close to the goal line, you got to expect pressure from the defense. So the ball's got to come out fast. Got to get out of his hands quicker. figure a field goal would be a letdown. Can they convert now on third and goal? Under pressure, they got him again. Khalil Mack, he's the one to get him this time, and back-to-back -back sacks brings up fourth down. And it appears to me that someone's defensive coordinator is jockeying for a raise. A sack on second and goal, a sack on third and goal, now brings up a decision on fourth down. So Carr departs and on his plate, groupie for the Saints field goal. From the right hash, and this one just a chippy. And his kick is right there. It's good, and that will extend their lead even further. Well, they picked up right where they left off in the first half. First drive after the break, they come away with three and increase that lead. Yeah, and you just want to keep building on that lead, don't you? Whether it's six points or three points, take everything you can get, keep maneuvering, keep adding to it, keep making it difficult for them to come back. So after the field goal, back out is Groupie to send this one away. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. Now we'll look at the Chargers offense. They get ready for their first possession of the second half. And their deficit a little wider now than it was at halftime following the field goal a moment ago. But the goal is still the same because you know they want to come out, establish a rhythm in the second half, and get going. Make no mistake about it, though. Kicking field goals, not in their game plan. They need to get the ball in the end zone. They'll come out throwing here on first down. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked off by Alante Taylor. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. And Charles, for this offense, those interception woes they kind of had in the first half have now followed them into the second half. And for this defense, they take advantage, turn that into a pick six. And that defense is in a spot now where they're thinking about ways to close this game out. And as confidently as they've been playing, I expect him to do exactly that. Groupie for the extra point.
And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21 points. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And this fielded right at the goal line. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. And the Chargers offense back out and ready to go. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. After the pick six, they go right back to the air. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. He'll get 10 there all on his own, but it'll be second down. Oh, partner, just a second earlier, and they might have had him because they certainly thought they were going to close in and drop him behind the line of scrimmage, but he had just enough time to dodge the pressure, and he ends up getting yardage before being stopped. Still a few inches short of a first down as they come up now on second down. A shotgun throw for Stick. They'll get this over the middle here to Palmer. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. 14 yards is the pick up there and a Charger first down. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open, just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space, and it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. The coverage may be too good that time as he breaks away for 19 with his legs and a first down. Evident there that he learned his lesson from the last drive. No way he was going to force a throw that time, but nothing broke open, kept it, and ended up running for a first down himself. So in Saints territory now, here's first and 10, down at the 31. Going on the ground with Eckler, and he's gonna take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that, second down. We know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. And good running, going to get this down close to a first at the Saints 22. 61 yards rushing for him now to this point. This drive is turning into an extended one, and, and the guy carrying the ball, he's becoming more like a body blows guy. Every carry is putting some damage on the defense. So after a while, I'm not too sure how many guys are going to want to run up and tackle him. And they'll run the option on third and short yardage. And he will have the first before he's brought down right on the chalk of the 20. So that was all you're looking for on a play like that. Get the first down and keep the drive moving. Yeah, it just looked to me like he just said to himself, I've got this. I'll take it. I'll pick it up and let's keep moving. Get the first down, get a new set, and let's start over. Oh. 
Here is Eckler. He'll get forward for three down to the 16-yard line. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're down what they are, they've got to pay it off with some points. Here's second and seven. They give up the middle to Kelly. And he'll get it here to the 10 yard line. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. Well, if you're going to have a relay race, you're probably going to pick your backs and receivers to run it. But don't underestimate the conditioning of the offensive line. They're out there just dictating things, staying on the field, and keeping a long drive going. They'll try to pick up the first with Eckler. And he's able to work it here to the eight yard line. They only got two, but that was enough as they'll convert to make it first and goal. I don't know about you, but that almost felt like old time football there. Third and two is not necessarily just a running down anymore. A lot of times they want to throw the ball. They went back to the roots and powered forward and got the first down. Now stick. Under pressure now, and he's going to go down. Sack back around the eight. That's the former Buckeye Pete Warner getting the sack. Well, there's still time to rectify this situation because the silver lining, they took a sack on first and goal. But that close to the goal line, that still definitely hurts. Three red zone trips have yielded just two field goals for them to this point, so they'll be searching for something more on second and goal here. Out of the gun, Eckler running it. Looking for a seam, but finding none. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. Call it no gain that time, and now it's third and goal. So stuff for no gain on second down brings up a pretty interesting third from this distance. I'm throwing the ball, and I'm not even thinking about play pass. I'm going to let them know right away I'm throwing it, but I'm probably giving my quarterback some room, sprint him out to one side or the other, and give him an opportunity if it breaks. Reaching up for it, and he's got it. Gerald Everett with an acrobatic catch. And the Chargers get a bit closer. No surprise there, third and goal down here. That's where they're going to look for their tight end. Yeah, you want that big guy running his routes because it doesn't matter who they cover him with. If it's another big guy, he might use his bulk against him. If it's a shorter defender, might go over the top. Either way, you tend to find a little bit of a mismatch in that area. And for the extra point, Cameron Dicker. He's got it to make it 27-13. So that drive, 12 plays in length. And it ends with the Chargers getting into the end zone. the touchdown. Here's Dicker out to kick this one off. This taken in at the goal line. And able to get this out to the 25. The New Orleans offense set to take over. Their lead down to two scores after the touchdown a moment ago as they start with a first and ten. The 
busy night continues for Kamara. And he'll manage to pick up about four at second down. An opportunity to get a drive started here at the end of the third quarter. What you're trying to do is break the game down a little bit. Don't let your guys see too deep into the game, into the future, and say, oh, we got to get here. No, right here, right in front of them. Melt the clock down. Get to the fourth quarter. Try and keep going. And try to keep that lead. Exactly. Second down, and it's Kamara again. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. 80 yards for him on the ground now. He has been a tough man to bring down all night. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. They run it again with Kamara. And he's got it up over the 40 to the 41. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old-school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run. Got behind his pads, bowled over a few people. Look at that one, right up the gut. So up through three quarters, no reason to lighten up now. Now they'll throw with Carr. There's a short one to the tight end, Johnson. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. Eighth catch for him now. He's been a big factor. And it's a first down. Partner, I like that they're staying aggressive on offense because to me, this drive is what is known as a put-away drive. You score here, that might put this one to bed. I like the fact that they're playing with confidence and not playing with fear. Kamara up the middle. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. I'm sure that that's going to be the formula. Just keep the ball on the ground. Keep that clock moving. And when you have the lead this late in the game, above all, stay in bounds. Yes, take care of the football. Yes, gain yardage, but stay in bounds and let that clock tick. If nothing else, they've already taken a couple minutes off the clock here already as they come up second down. Now Carr. There's a short one to the tight end, Johnson. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Give him 10 yards there as this offense is on a roll. This drive continues to plunge forward. The passing game continues to be their friend, even with a stable lead here in the fourth, Charles. They're going back to that well. Yeah, with their overall philosophy, you know that they trust their quarterback. He's been able to throw it well. They continue to throw these safe passes. Who can blame them? They'll pound it up the middle with Kamara. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. And I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. The car's throw caught by Alave. And he's brought to the ground with another first down at the Chargers' 22-yard line. A 14-yard gain there as they look to improve this 14-point lead. Well, normally you might say start running the football. You've got the lead here in the fourth quarter. But the way that they've passed it with such success, I don't know, maybe keep throwing it. Yeah, I think you brought up something that goes against conventional wisdom, right? In this stage of the game, you would think you would switch to a running attack, but you're exactly right. They've thrown it so well throughout the game. And trusting this quarterback, 
I think he continued to do so. That was well played, but that was also an example of a corner who understands his coverage, realized he had support behind him, and could be a little more aggressive in the shorter zone, and did exactly that, knocking that pass away. On play action, it's Carr. And he's got it. Touchdown, Saints. Juwan Johnson with his second touchdown of the night. And the Saints have put this one to bed here in the fourth quarter. Well, I've heard you use the term put-away drive, and that right there seemed like the definition of a put-away drive. Yeah, it certainly just pops right up out of the book, doesn't it? Because up two scores already, just wanted to possess the football, keep converting and picking up first downs, and if the drive ends in three points, that's terrific. If it ends in a touchdown, fantastic. Groupie able to add the PAT. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. So that one a pretty time-consuming 10-play drive. And it ends with a touchdown for New Orleans. After the touchdown, here's Groupie to kick this one away. Taken at the goal line. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. L.A. set to take over again on offense. As this offense comes back out here, Charles, they're trailing in this ball game, And they've been on the sideline for a while. They did score their last time out, but they just had to watch that long, sustained drive. So we'll see if they can shake the rust off. Yeah, and that's always a, a question that you have when you have to come off the bench after having sat there for a long time. Are you ready to go? Are you loosened up? But even more so, are you mentally alert and ready to put your best product out there? Stick looking to throw on first and 10. And this turns into a nice gain with a slide at the end. Opted to run for it. The decision a good one. Picking up the first, getting 14 yards on the scramble. I like how he hung in there and went through his progressions, but eventually his internal clock went off and told him it was time to make a run for it. And he ends up sliding down with a solid gain. Stick looks to throw. Allen's got it complete. And he'll go out of bounds, it appears, right at the 45. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. On second down, it's Stick. Give him another one right back to Allen. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of, until they stop him, why not go back to him? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. Stick from the gun. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked off by the linebacker, Demario Davis. And he's just across midfield and down at the 49-yard line. This spot in the fourth quarter with that deficit had to throw the football. Unfortunately, there's the risk of big turnover. And you know you're going to be throwing against nickel, dime, all sorts of exotic defenses, but you have to do it anyway. Ordinarily, you might want to run the football a little bit, try and get them out of it. But as you noted, this time of the game, this point on the clock, had to throw it.
A give. This is Kamara. And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Well, partner, Marvin, our number one stats guy just handed me a little card that says he has 97 yards on the ground today. You think he's going to get the ball again? I think so. Three away from that century mark, got to have it. Yeah, and I think what they're going to call is one of his favorite runs, whatever he feels comfortable with, and what the offensive line has executed well today to try and get him over 100 yards. And the stop here will come at the 38-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. It carries like that. That's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front and say, guys, keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines, and let's close this one out. They run on first down as they're able to get this forward for about four. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. It, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. On second down, Camara. And this defense not ready for that one as he'll take this down inside the 25. 10 yards, good for his Saints first down. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. Trying the left side with Camaro. And for one of the first times all night, he is going to go nowhere as they bury him behind the line. Give all that credit defensively to Khalil Mack. A great stop in the backfield. Well, that was one of the few times they've been able to contain him thus far. He's over 100 yards for the game, but he lost a bit off his total on that carry. So their task a little bit more difficult now. Second and 13 that they're walking up on. To throw, it's Carr. This is Miller, complete. It's a pickup of 12, and that'll set up a third down. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that in this performance. On third down, here's Kamara. And out of bounds all the way down at the three. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Well, you know me, partner, I never tell them to back off of being aggressive, but sometimes you see the consequences when you're overly aggressive and you don't secure tackles. Guys break through. Trying to sell out to pry that football loose, and just as you said, cost some yardage. Yeah, you got to go get him. Stand him up first before you go for the ball. Don't just go for it initially. Here's Carr. He's left with no option here but to throw it away. Well, fourth quarter with a three-score lead here, Charles, but they're still going back to the air and looking for more points. Well, with this game well in hand, it's an opportunity for the guys to come off the bench and get a chance to play. And a lot of coaches, they want to run their full playbook no matter who's on the field. Camara going to be hit and met at the line of scrimmage. They get him down at the three. It'll go as a loss of a yard, and it'll set up third down. I thought they were onto something with their play call and kind of went in reverse a little bit, threw it on first down, then ran it on second down. Not successful either way. What play call do they come up with here on this important third down try? at the three now. This is third and goal. Throwing now is Carr. 
that escapes the sack. And a big loss here as he's taken down. A nightmare on third and goal. He's sacked, and multiple players broke through the line to get him. Got to give him points for the attempt, but there's just a wave of pressure there. A host of people in the area evades a few, but couldn't evade all of them. So Carr departs and on his Blake Groupie for the Saints field goal. Light hash, 37-yard attempt. And his kick is good. And that will extend their lead even further. Well, ultimately not really sure that they're going to need those three points, but... They'll take the three, and they pad that lead. Yeah, this one's already wrapped up, but you and I both know if you're an offensive coordinator, you never let up on the gas unless the head coach tells you to do so. And maybe you've actually clicked him off in your headset so you can keep calling plays and trying to add to this lead. So after the field goal, back out his groupie to send this one away. It is fielded right at the goal line. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. And the L.A. offense ready for this next possession. So now, Charles, this drive maybe a touch more important, trying to erase the memory of that interception they had the last time out. Yeah, and everyone goes through this because even the best in the game you're going to have games where it just doesn't go right for you and interceptions result. So, frankly, to me, it's all about how you respond, not just the types of plays that you call, but how you carry yourself, how you show your team that you're still with it, and how you continue to lead. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. On the screen, this is Eckler. So it was already a gain on the completion, but tack on some more with that penalty. Absolutely, and no matter what angle you're making the tackle from, you can't grab the face mask, and that's just putting your defense on its heels just a little bit more. First and ten, a big mistake, especially when you factor in the personal foul yardage. Back to throw. And he can't find anywhere to go with it, and he goes down. Ryan Brzee fought in and got him down. We've seen him escape similar situations earlier in the game and get away for pretty good yardage, and that time they get him down. Yeah, they've had enough evidence that he can get away and run for good yardage, haven't they? That time it felt like, okay, enough of this. Let's play it the right way and get him on the ground before he does any damage. So after the sack, they'll come up on a still manageable second and 13. They're going to look to throw. Now they go screen. It's complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. 17 yards for the Chargers there as they got themselves a first down. Well, I can put my defensive cap on right now, and I know they're saying don't give up any big plays now. They've controlled this game throughout, and all they want to do is see it through to the end. I think they let their guard down a little bit with that last completion. Sometimes when you're trying not to give up bigger plays, you don't react as fast as you should on other throws. Back to throw now on first down. Now left, he's got it to Everett. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. Well, those are the types of plays they probably wish they had made more of in the first three quarters. And this deficit going to be tough to overcome here in the fourth. But a nice first down and a pickup on that throw. Yeah, and this is where his coaches... You're looking for effort and execution, even though the scoreboard is going against you. You want to find out who's going to fight, who's going to scrap, who's going to keep their heads up and continue to play. 
They're unable to connect, but a late flag comes in. And the contact may have come too early. So the pass incomplete in the end zone, but the flag comes out for interference. And now you're set up right on the doorstep of the goal line. One yard away changes what your play calls are going to be. So the ball's moved to about the one after the penalty, first and goal. They'll drop to throw. Got a man, it's Allen for the Charger touchdown. A one-yard touchdown pass. And the Chargers are able to make some inroads here to that deficit. And the touchdown all set up by the big play one snap before, but they finish it off here with a shorter completion, this time for the score. I like how they stuck with what got them there, right? The big pass play. Got the momentum going, right? That's You create it with a play like that, and you come right back with another pass play to finalize things off. And now before we get to the extra point, remember all touchdowns do have to be confirmed by the replay official. They're taking a peek at whether or not those feet were in bounds and obviously a big call here in the end zone. And not just the feet. How about the hands? How is the ball possessed while the feet are hopefully getting down in bounds? That's what they're trying to look at to see if it all comes together. So they called it a touchdown originally, and this will stay a touchdown after the video review, so they had it right. Now the Charger offense will stay on the field as they'll line up to go for the two-point try. They'll look to throw. So unable to throw it in for two from the two. Let me ask you, as a former DB, what changes there around the goal line on a two-point conversion as far as how you're defending it? You just make sure you never back up and you never retreat. You, you establish yourself really on the line of scrimmage, put your heels on the goal line at worst, and if they're going to throw the ball, make them throw it over your head because they're going to run out of space because of the back of the end zone. Never let a guy catch one in front of you. So still lots of work left to do, but here comes the onside kick. And the Saints hands team able to rein this one in. The fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of a anecdotal type of a number. Kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% <laughs> of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. Here's Kamara, and nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground, but I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Saints football as we get you reset. And the scoreboard on their side, they're just looking to melt away these final couple of minutes and put this one in the left-hand column. From the 43, here's a second and eight. Again, it's Kamara, and he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three. I like it. I like the call. Still an opportunity to run the football and chew up a little more time off the clock. Yeah, yeah, we dominate today. 
They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. Running with Kamara. And this will not be enough. On third and five, he only gets three. This late in the game, Charles, I think you maybe seriously have to think about going for it. Especially where they are in terms of field position, because this is almost like no man's land. Might hurt your punter because there might not be enough space, maybe too far for your field goal kicker. I I'm like the old rule. Possession is nine-tenths of the law. Possession is nine-tenths of winning the game. Go for it. Get the first down. Close it out. The offense staying out. They're going to go on fourth and two. They run. It's Kamara. And he gets it to the 32. Good enough for a first down. A solid pickup of five and a very solid fourth down conversion and defensively pure frustration. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners, taking care of the football because you're going to tell your quarterback, hey, no time to be a hero. We're not going to throw it here. Just eat up that clock. And if you have the ball, they can't score. So this one, a victory here for New Orleans. And we talk so much about the turnover battle, determining who wins, who loses. This game, no exception. Air-free football, no turnovers at all, and they win it. So this is one you don't have to convince your team that what you're saying is accurate. And you know what I'm talking about. Head coach always stands up in front of the team and says, guys, if we do this, this, and this, we'll win. And usually they say, if we win the turnover battle, we'll win. Well, here's the proof right there. Win the turnover battle, go on to victory. Now the guys believe you move on to the next lesson where you have to convince them. This one is now planted. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gunn. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. So long, everybody.